Hello there. Whenever you think about electric circuits, you think of how can it be controlled? How can you allow the flow of current or prevent the flow of current? A switch is usually used to do this. A switch is used to make or break. A circuit is used to allow the flow or prevent the flow of currents in a circuit. Switches are of different types. You can classify them into two basic parts, electrical switches and mechanical switches. Electrical switches are controlled by currents flowing into a particular type of electrical component that can act as a switch or not. Mechanical switches are controlled by either pressing it physically, releasing it physically. Basically, everything physical has to do with mechanical types of switches. So in this video, we're going to be focusing on mechanical switches. Let's look at a few. So the first one we are going to look at is a single pole, single throw switch, short for SPST. The symbol is like this. From your circuit diagram, you will understand that this is a conductor and this is a conductor. So this point refers to the switch. So by single pole, we mean there's just one pole and single throw is just one point where this switch reaches. This is the most basic form of a switch that you can have. And a very good example is just two wires touching each other or being removed from each other. I built a simple circuit here to illustrate that. So these are the two wires, and when they touch, it comes on, when you remove, it goes off. So single pole, single throw. Secondly, we're going to look at single pole, double throw. S P D T. The symbol for this is two throws and one pull. A few examples we have are this one. You can see three terminals, a pull and the throws. So single pull, single throw. So if you click once it goes to one throw you click again it goes to the other throw another example is this you can see one pole two throws click it goes here click it goes the other way the next one we would look at is the Double pole single throw switch SPST. The symbol is like this one pole, one throw, another pole, another throw, then something to show the connection. So this shows is that only one connect only one button is needed controller is needed to move the poles and whenever it's moved it either closes or opens the circuit to it's more like two different spsts controlled by one controller then we have a double pole double so this is DPST and this is DPDT. So there are four throws, two pairs each for a pole and a controller here. I have an example to show you here. Sorry. 
look at this two poles two pairs of throws on each side then there is the push button switch fire the push button switch so the symbol for this is like this so when this is pushed it connects you know this as a normally open that says it's normally open but when it's pushed it connects and when it's released it disconnects and there is the variation of it that is normally closed when it's pushed it's closed it opens and when it's released it closes so i built a simple circuit here to show you a normally open switch in operation so the light is off because it's normally open when it's clicked it comes on when it's released it goes off then we have a limit switch which is operated by a mechanical device it's it can be normally open or normally closed So when a mechanical device touches this switch, it pushes it up to, to close. Seven, we have a float switch. You might wonder how you can tell when your tank is full, when you're pumping water or not. So a float switch is used. So we have the normally open type. Then fluid comes around it pushes this up to close and we have the normally closed type and there is also the flow switch that detects flow of fluids for instance if in a point you want to check whether fluids are flowing or not you can use the flow switch so this is the normally closed variation and this is the normally open variation then we have the pressure switch that detects increase in pressure the, an amount of pressure is needed to close the switch or open the switch This is a normally open. This is normally closed. Then we have the temperature switch. An amount of temperature is needed for this switch to close. Usually the mechanism used is a bimetallic strip. It's a physical phenomena where two metals of different temperature capabilities are joined together so that when temperature when it's heated up one metal expands more than the other and bends and causes the conjunction to be bent so this is a normally open variation And this is the normally closed design. These are just a few of the mechanical switches. There are many variations to the switches, but the basic concept is always the same. It's either on or it's either off. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Elizabeth. Bye for now.